Okay, so uh, here we are doing a bit of hogging on the lathe this afternoon. I've got some 17.4 stainless in the chuck, 40 mil diameter, and she's in H1025 condition, so that's 40 Rockwell. So, uh, and I need to take this down to 24 mil, so uh, I've, got to, I've got to lean on it a bit and get some, uh, get some heat out of it. So uh, let's see what this old Colchester can do with a three horsepower motor. Around 100%, fully loaded. That's two and a half mil off the diameter, 0.2 millimetres per red. Okay, second cut, same 2.5 mil uh, off the diameter in one pass, uh, up to 850 RPM now. Loads come down a bit, so next cut will uh, increase up to three mil and increase the speed again. Okay, so uh, here we are. We're up to 900 RPM, and now we're taking uh, three mil off the diameter in one pass. You can see we're back up to 100 percent. Hogging now beautifully. That's 40 Rockwell stainless steel. Okay, so next cut up to 950 RPM. Again, three mil off the diameter, one pass. Awesome. Okay, last pass of the uh, big cut down to 26 mil. This is a thousand RPM, 0.2 millimeters per rev, and uh, 1.5 millimeter depth of cut. That's three mil off each side. Oh, sorry, that's three mil off the diameter in one pass. Okay, so finished cut, this will be 24 mil when we're done and we're up to 1252 RPM, but we've back the cut down now to two millimeters. That's one millimeter off the side. You can see the chips are getting a bit lively now, but it's only for one cut, so it's fine. So I thought I'd show you that. So there we are, uh, that's finished roughing. I'm only roughing this out because I'm gonna finish turning this particular part between centers. But uh, I just thought I'd show you the lathe running flat out. Just in case you're wondering what I'm making, these are um, flywheel balancing mandrels I use for classic mini flywheels. Um, I need a uh, replacement for my own one and I thought I'd make some spares for people to buy. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. See you soon.